The clouds have finally parted and we are off to the mountains. The key ingredients for an adventure. Friends, running out of time. Two hours late as per usual. <laughs> and unpredictable challenges. We're Moritz and Chico and we converted this murder van into a camper van to go on adventures like this one. Come along today and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. But I just don't seem to like what's new to me Now I'm no one's man And these streets that I've been walking They make me feel like We've landed on Vancouver Island And you know what? We would love to be in sunny weather down south Which we will be going across the border As soon as it opens So that we can get out of this wet coast That we are on <laughs> That's the wet coast it's so mind-boggling how much rain there is here. I just like I've never seen so much non-stop rain. Um, is this Vancouver Island's um, welcoming <laughs> weather? <laughs> What book are you reading right now? First, you let me know in the comments if it's interesting, and then I'm gonna tell it. What? You can't do that. I can do whatever I want. You can't withhold information about yourself on YouTube. You have <laughs> sold your soul to the world. Yeah. Okay, the name of the book that Moritz is reading starts with a D and ends with an E. If you can guess it correct in the comments, well, you get bragging rights. <laughs> Alrighty. Good night. Okay. Good night. For the first time in forever. We're getting some blue skies. Oh, dripping. So we've been getting some condensation problems, but now the condensation has turned into ice problems. It's become very cold. Winter is, is there. <laughs> We're gonna try to summit Mount Albert Edward on Vancouver Island. So today we'll be hiking to Circlet Lake, stay there for a night so we can have a really early start for the Three Peaks tomorrow. And that's the beauty of van life. We can get as close as we possibly can to the trail, wake up and get going. Two hours late as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, we've been hitting sub-zero temperatures with things freezing over. But when things freeze over in Canada, it means there are blue skies. <laughs> it's quite warm in the sun. But the sun is perfect, yeah. Tonight is going to be sub zero for yes, us. Yes, it's going to be chilly. Okay. <laughs> We made it about halfway in and the snow is appearing quite it's, significantly. The terrain has completely changed. It's very beautiful. It is, but I'm a bit skeptical about getting up to the peak 
if already down here is so much snow. <laughs> but <laughs> we shall see tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll just do a nice camp in the snow for one night. Yeah, and eat all the and eat all the food. Yes. <laughs> all right, onwards. decided that macro spikes are gonna be pretty handy here. I've been slipping and sliding and I'm not very good on my feet. There you go. Ah, that should feel better. This is the Forbidden Plateau Ranger Station, which I told once three times. At least. You couldn't hear me. Because the wind is so loud. Do you hear it? Long expected sight. We Beautiful. made it to Circlet Lake. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Now we are looking for Bigfoot Man. There has, there was a set of footprints that we were following, and this guy has a giant gait, giant feet, and we can't find him now. <laughs> He'll be on the camping spot, I think. You think so? Or yeah, he, he went all the way up. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's They're find... They're so big, those footsteps. I can see yeah. them on the mount. I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's find our spot for tonight and we'll show you quickly how we pitch tent. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden I'll follow slight chance we brought the wrong fuel because this doesn't burn very well below five degrees ah uh, zero degrees <laughs> go to Strathcona Provincial Park she said <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful she said yeah, it's pretty beautiful <laughs> but it's, it's also pretty so cold, cold. <laughs> we should have known it was like raining so much and then even looking at the peaks at the beginning it was just covered in snow and for some reason <laughs> In my mind, I was picturing like we would be like Moses and parting the way of the snow and the butterflies would be flying by and yeah. Well, I was thinking that at least the campground is still without snow. <laughs> well, let's see how tonight goes. So in our haste to get out into the freezing cold, we also forgot utensils. You know, Moritz carved me a beautiful stick to use as an eating utensil. Only problem is it's frozen, so it's like <laughs> holding an icicle. <laughs> My uh, fingers are so numb. And now my food's cold too. Mm. So how's your um, couscous with dehydrated veg? No. We on Works texture, well. <laughs> vegetable protein. Mm -hmm. That thing is frozen solid. You're gonna break your teeth. No. So there have been so many mornings where I've woken up in our camper van recently when it's been freezing cold and I'll be like, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like to make ourselves feel better, we've gone somewhere even colder. <laughs> so we can truly appreciate our propane, our We're gas going meter. south soon. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't tell you. We're going to be heading south when the border opens. So I cannot wait for more sunshine. <laughs> yeah, the sunshine has to be especially uh, lacking because our battery dies constantly. <laughs> yeah, we have to basically, our whole day is surrounding whether we have enough juice or not. We're in and out of libraries and places where we can charge our laptops. And yeah, our goal is to get to Mexico 
around December, January time period and climb at El Potrero Chico, mm -hmm. which means we got to start learning Spanish soon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so cool. How did you sleep? Hmm? How did you sleep? Good morning. Good morning. I got some major sushi face. That's when you eat too much sodium and your bulgy eyes get even bulgier. And they're beautiful as always. You see this one? <laughs> well, it looks like there's some sun. It's actually not as bad in here as I thought it was going to be. I think last night it got down to cold. It was pretty cold at one point, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it's probably like positive single digits. Celsius. Didn't sleep very much. I woke up every hour or so. <laughs> Such is life. No. <laughs> but now there's sun. Got out. Look, sun. This time we splurged and got powdered peanut butter, banana chips, calibo chocolate chips, scotch oats, threw in some walnut, cinnamon, and hemp seeds. So it's gonna be really good. So chocolatey. <laughs> Okay, change of plans. There's no way we're doing three summits. That was already way too ambitious. Um, but we're gonna attempt Mount Albert Edward, which is over 2000 meters high. Only concern is the snow. We're not sure what the conditions are like up there. We don't have snowshoes. So we're gonna go as far as we can and try to see as many things as we can and then just go with the flow of the day. If we have to stay one more night, we have all the rations and no. things we need to stay. It'll just be cold. <laughs> Another cold night. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get going. Giant hole. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> we made it <laughs> to the ridge. So everyone, we wanted to introduce you to... Uh, Mark. And Jason. We're both from Victoria, BC. Yeah, out here on this beautiful day. Yeah, and we crossed paths and decided to hike up together, but I think we're gonna make a different call. What <laughs> yeah. do you guys think? I think it's probably the right call. Yeah. At this point of the day. Yeah. 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 Have some snacks, get down safely. Yeah. yeah, the snow is proving to be a bit treacherous, even with snowshoes. We're slipping and sliding all over the place. Moritz and I are picking up snowballs <laughs> underneath our, <laughs> our micro spikes, so we'd rather just be safe than sorry because it's going to get pretty cold here tonight. Oh, the hike is amazing. It's <laughs> actually unreal up here, especially on Vancouver Island where it's more thought of as a coastal rainforest type area, but you get all the alpine and the snow, so it's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, just with this hike, it's taking us so long just to get to this point right now that it's going to take us much longer. We're not even halfway yet, so yeah. it's, at this point, I think we're we've made the right decision to yeah. turn back to the lake and hang out. <laughs> but we're doing supper. it. Yeah, we're doing it. No, you got to show up to get these views. <laughs> if you were to do this again, what would you do differently next time? Leave earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd bring. Uh, um, 
No, I was going to buy those uh, down-filled booties for a camp. That was my major mistake. Yeah. Oh, Jay's yeah. There, so I was quite jealous. Oh, wow. awesome. Yeah. 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 We saw them with some other hikers <laughs> recently, and I was like, oh, yeah, I yeah, need those. That's yeah. collection. Yeah. yeah, definitely worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, MEC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah leaving earlier, but uh, <laughs> yeah, soon we found out we had to make our own trail, so I don't know if we could have done anything different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well... Still had fun? Oh, Absolutely. 100%. Dude, do that. Do it every, every day. Every day is a good day. <laughs> so, we're going to quickly have lunch and then we'll head back to the campsite. So, we'll see you there. Last words? Uh, before what? <laughs> Last words. That's daunting. Yeah. It's pretty steep. It's a bit easier, so. Yeah. Keep on going, Mark. Good morning, we're all packed up and ready to go. We're just gonna head back to the camper now. An eventful evening, we just hung out and had dinner, froze to death. <laughs> and Doesn't that was a bit warmer? Yeah, it was a little bit warmer. There were so many stars out. Um, uh. Just like fell out of my tent in my sleeping bag <laughs> like a whale and took a gander at the sky and it was beautiful. So we're gonna be taking the 12K Kwai Lake loop out instead of the Helen McKenzie route to get here, which was like 10k. So just a little bit of a loop so that we see something a little different. No. Okay, we'll catch you at the camper. Yeah. I have no idea why we thought that we would be able to get up. Alright, you see that? Mount Albert Edward. You see that? Woo! These birds. We thought we'd be able to get up that thing without crampons and snowshoes. <laughs> but we made it back. I think that was about 28K. Spent two nights out there in negative 10 degrees Celsius weather um, and just split our blue sky gonna start raining again tomorrow so we are really happy we got a chance to be outside and now, and now beer <laughs> back to van life back to van life <laughs> i don't know if you can hear that but the rain is back again we had such an awesome time this weekend hiking up in strathcona and it was just so rejuvenating to spend so much time outdoors despite how freezing cold it was for us in the evening. Yeah, the freezing cold also brought some other issues on the truck, which we'll be showing you next time. But for now, let's pretend nothing happened and we're just gonna fall into bed. Yeah, well, thank you so much for watching van life there was never a dull moment it's like survival and setback and a sprinkle of fun and then more setback and survival <laughs> anyway until next time we'll see you bye